What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a couple of incredibly spicy duels for you guys to check out. These duels are not related in any way, but they're both very short and entertaining. So I figured I'd just go ahead and kind of throw them together because I feel like individually, neither one is kind of worth uh, an individual upload just because the videos are too short. But together, I think they give you guys a pretty couple of entertaining duels. The first one is going to be one of the greatest debates you will ever see in your life. And at first, I thought the guy. I was just kind of trolling i was like play the card do something make a play and he just wouldn't and i was like well i guess he's just trolling i guess he's giving up but he had the composure and the 200 iq to say shut up cap i got this makes the perfect play you guys are going to see what i'm talking about so we got six samurai at the top we got tg at the bottom tg can be incredibly explosive when they happen to open up with christian needle fiber however if they just summon uh the tg booster raptor new card from savage strike and then just like pass <laughs> this is is a little less explosive than you than what you would generally want he has a copy of tenki but all that does is like search another copy of warwolf so that's not really going to do anything he said a copy of tgm1 uh fun fact when I topped my last regional top eight, which was forever ago back in Zexel, I did actually run one copy of this card. It's pretty good. It's like a kind of like a creature swap type card. You give your opponent a TG and then you end up taking one of their monsters. Not a hard once per turn because it is a Zexel card. Now, I honestly thought I thought he had a decent chance. I thought he had one chance of actually winning this duel. And that was to either wait for the Samurai Link monster or to use it right here. I thought maybe if he takes the Summon Sorceress, maybe his opponent won't be able to combo out. Maybe he'll still be able to, you know, live with the summon sorceress stop his opponent because even if his opponent gets gateway nah i'm actually i'm just i'm trolling he would still lose at that point because think about it he would have four monsters on his side of the field and he would also like be able to go back into his extra deck I'm, i don't think that that would actually work to be honest because he has gateway like if he had gateway with the six samurai link monster he would be able to summon kizen and grandmaster i was thinking he wouldn't be able to expand upon his field but nope that wouldn't work so once i saw him get the summon sorceress off the iso i was like well this game's pretty much over he's going to go for number uh the rongo bongo the number 86 but look what he does this was the 200 iq play what he does is he chains to number 75 when number 75 is trying to attach itself as materials to the number 86 and he says i'm just going to target the number 86 because it doesn't have all the materials for it to be unaffected by card effects yet and when the resolution happens he ends up taking his opponent's number 86 guys see this is the way that you gotta beat the rongo lot guys you just play tg you wait for your opponent to go 86 then you chain the 75's effect and then you actually just take their 86 and then they can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> this is actually amazing. He took his opponent's 86. It has all the materials and he doesn't even play a deck that can summon it, but somehow he has figured out a way to take it and actually win the duel. GG no re. I think that that was pretty smart of him. And then this one's just going to be a nice turn one display of uh, Galaxy. Now, I've thought of Galaxy as a deck that it can make a couple of decent cards um, turn one. Mainly uh, the rank eight. The, the name is escaping me for right now. I don't know why. Um, yes, number 90, Galaxy Ice Photon Lord. This is a really good card. It can obviously not only get you a surge, but then it has that uh, it has that Divine Wrath type effect. And if you have a Galaxy Monster, you end up destroying the card as well. It's a good negative board but it's not the greatest especially when you consider that other decks right now in Yu-Gi-Oh! even prank kids can have like multiple ways of disruption and hard negation with totally awesome but some of the like pendulum decks can put up three negates and stuff like that so i didn't really expect all that much out of galaxy but what he's going to do is just can it's incredibly surprising because you don't generally see these type of turn one boards and uh, you know it was aided by pod desires but a lot of decks right now that can have strong openings like pendulums do run like triple desires prank kids run triple desires so these combo decks are running multiple copies of desire especially if you can run like three of every Every monster and at this point i was like okay he's got a lot of monsters but what exactly can he do with it he had already made the galaxy eye so flair but he is going to shift to the other side so that he has a couple of extra monster zones open he's going to reborn one of his well no not going to reborn it but add it to his hand there's the number 90 the galaxy eyes photon lord so at least he has some disruption for his opponent but this i did not see coming activates the galaxy expedition to summon another copy of soldier and you know where he's going from there he's going for cyber dragon infinity 
Unfortunately, his opponent who's playing uh, the Ritual Metaphos, I, I, I didn't notice that he was playing pre-preparation of rights. <laughs> this dude's fucking trolling. I thought it was just regular Metaphos. <laughs> I don't know why a pre-preparation of rights is in there, but he realizes that he's not going to be able to do much of anything because if he doesn't put on at least a decent board, I mean, this guy, eh, my math isn't, yeah, he's going to get 300 more attack from ranking up the, uh, the Cyber Dragon Affinity. He has game on board, so this guy would have had had to do something pretty good and oh okay that that's probably why he's scooping he has two one skills so I was, i'm like if you have a one and an eight maybe you can do something but if he has a one and an eight uh or if he has two ones and then he has a ritual monster and he like what are you exactly are you doing you've got this uh true king which you can technically summon by blowing up your metaphors but i'm not really sure i feel like that's just gonna get negated by cyber dragon infinity and then you're basically gonna lose at that point you know what Let's go ahead and check out the Galaxy deck. I feel like the TG play was just, <laughs> that was just something crazy in a vacuum. There's no reason to look at that. But we can actually look at the, uh, we can definitely look at the Galaxy deck. I had recorded the duels and then I totally forgot to do the deck profile. I started playing on YGO Pro, lost track of time. And I was like, holy shit, don't I have to still show people what the deck looks like? He's rocking with the three counties of Transmigration, uh, or excuse me, Tech Down Transmigration. Keep in mind, this is a counter trap that you can activate from the hand and uh, it does negate like other cards that were in the chain before so you kind of want to build a pretty big chain like if you activate um I don't know if your opponent activates like uh, Pot of Desires and you Ash Blossom them and then they go like uh, Caught by the Grave. Like you basically want to use uh, Techion, Techion Transmigration to just nullify everything else in that chain. Um, the deck looks pretty standard from what I can tell other than the Guardian of Order. But, you know, Galaxy, the entire deck is light based and you can special summon this. I believe you control two light monsters and it's level eight. Um, though no trade-ins in here, oddly enough. But I guess it's just like another level eight because... Uh, galaxy wizard can always change itself to be level eight and then you also have you know your galaxy eyes uh tech down dragon and knight yeah knight's also level eight so i guess it can be okay i don't know if it's the most consistent thing in a top decking war this card would be pretty terrible but i mean i guess it's just like a decent level eight plus i believe that you can discard this for galaxy soldier so maybe if it's even if it's like dead in your hand it might not be uh like even the biggest deal maybe you could have ran um the galaxy cleric that's the one that's kind of like the pot of avarice i usually see galaxy players play that but i mean i guess to each his